Hello everyone, welcome back to Creatively Jean. I am Jean. Today I'm coming with another Annie's Kit of the Month Club opening. So I already opened it because I wanted to see what it was so I knew what supplies we needed so that we could work on this a little bit anyways. So this one we should be able to work on pretty good. Okay, so this is the name. Annie's Creative Woman Kit of the Month, but you can just put in Annie's Kit of the Month Club, search for that in Google, and it'll come up with it. It's a monthly kit, different crafts. Um, I've done a few. Can't, we have candles, we've had soap, we've had, this is a bracelet set. This is a bracelet set they did. Um, this was before I started YouTube last year. I started YouTube in July, I think. And this was the bracelet set they did then and these are all like they're like stone beads and it's wood beads they're really nice sets so this is what we're going to be making another bracelet set so they're really easy to make so let's open this up and they give you everything you need step by step directions okay here's everything let's just pop this cover off all right so you get a selection of beads. So here's some like little um, grayish black stone beads. I'm gonna see if we can put these. It does, yeah, it's okay if they mix. So we have these beads. They're like little, just little, and they tell you in here, there's one in there, yep, stuck in there. So those ones would be the, these ones right here. And it doesn't say what size those ones are. Uh, oh, yes, they're called a snowflake. I don't know what that word is, but, you know, uh, rounds. And they're six millimeter snowflake rounds. So I'm not sure why they're called snowflakes, but, you know, whatever. Go with it. Then there's the daisy spacers and there's an eight millimeter snowflake round. I'm sure that uh, if I look up that word... You know, I'll know why it's called that. You got five millimeter metal rounds, four and six gray crystals. I'll get all those out. Four millimeter and six millimeter black crystals. You get the elastic cord and you get jewelry glue. So you get everything you need. You don't, it doesn't give you a needle, but you don't need a needle. I've made this kit before and you don't need a needle. Here's your elastic string. Okay, I'll put all these other beads out here so you can get a better look at them. Okay, the two different sizes of those. Here's the black crystals. And we got the kind of, so let's see, they call them, yep, gray crystals. Kind of a smoky color. I'll hold this dish up afterwards. And then you got the daisy, daisy spacers. Put those there. Oh, uh, another bead stuck in there yet. And then the gold, little gold beads. Okay, so these are all the beads in this kit. You can see all the selection, the crystal beads, these stone beads, and then all the spacer beads. Okay, get this out of our way so we have room to work. Get our string out and get back to the book. So you'll need to know how to do a surgeon's knot, which we will do. And then, so you get to make five different bracelets. There's the fifth one on the way in the back. And we'll go step by step. It'll show you how. So let's fold this a little bit so we can get in. Okay. So we're going to work on this one first. So this one says we need that they all, you cut a 16 inch length of the elastic. And then string the following beads on to so This one's going to take the eight millimeter and then the daisy spacers so this is all this one takes so and basically you can put you know however many i usually measure my wrist as we're going along because i like mine i like mine tighter i don't like mine to be moving around so i like to keep mine tighter i know if i remember right when i did this the first time the 16 inch you know was pretty big so let's just use my ruler here and get you got you got plenty plenty so you don't have to worry about um you know if you have enough string and stuff because you got plenty of string 
And somewhere around here, there it is. I know I put my scissors down here, but you know, everything's always a mess down here. Okay, so now all we're going to do, let's bring you down a little bit. And like I said, just, just elastic cording. And so we'll just string on. I'm going to use the eight millimeters. Just string it through there. If you want to use a needle, you know, go ahead. But like I said, you really don't need a needle. It goes through there just fine. Unless you have, you know, fumble fingers like me. So just keep going with the eight millimeter. And string it around until it's the size you like, really. Like I think they have, it says, so it's about 21 beads on there, it looks like. 21 of the beads. And we're just going to keep stringing it around. I don't know if we'll make all five or not. We'll see. But their directions, like I said, they're really, let me put this so you can kind of see. They're very easy to follow. And you just keep working your way around. And then I'm putting a little, a little space. I'm trying to do this so you guys can actually see the bead too, but it's kind of, you know, so this is what it's looking like. And that's the picture of it. So we're going to keep stringing that, like I said, until you get it to the size that you kind of want. And maybe because this might take a while, I might kind of do, because they're all repetitive. So I might just do like the pattern for you. That was a little bead. You want the eight mils. Just keep on going. Their, all their kits are, like I've never had, I haven't had a kit. There's painting kits. Um, if you guys see, it's one of my first videos. The birdhouse that I had to paint, that was an Annie's Kit Club. So, and that's a wood pro, a wooden, um, birdhouse that you had to paint and decorate that was fun to do i really enjoyed doing that one and uh what other kind of stuff is there no there was a uh diamond painting uh notebook so you put a uh the sticky tape down on the top of the notebook and then it had a pattern on it and then you put the diamond dot things on so that was fun to do because i love diamond painting that was fun so there's all different kits and there's all different categories because you i i chose the general so you're going to get a little of everything oh but they have like a crocheting one i know too so if you're a crocheter and you just want to do that they have that but i took general crafts because i always well i like doing a variety of things I like learning new things too so there was some kits before i started doing youtube that i did but that was, you know, it wasn't doing YouTube at the time. So, okay, so let's just stop after this one and see where we're at. See, and I like for my wrist, let me take these ones off. So we're getting close to, for, for mine. Like I said, I think what we'll do is so you guys can kind of see the pattern of each one. You know, because this will take a while to do. I'm just going to do this and lay it out. So that would be the pattern for one of them. Let's cut another string. I mean, this is just repetitive. And I will show you how to do that surgeon's knot if you don't know how to do it. Let me untangle this. It's all tangled up. That happens sometimes. Okay, let's cut off another one. Okay, get that so you guys can kind of see it yet. Now, for the second one, so it's going to repeat from, you can see that it's going to use the, oh, here we go, sorry, uh, eight millimeter and then the gold and then the black and then the gray crystal and the black crystal. And so this is the pattern that's going to repeat from here to here. So you can see from my thumb to thumb, that's the pattern it's going to repeat. So it does that one, 
one, two, three, four sections around. So we'll do one section. So we're gonna start with the eight millimeter bead. If we did all five, we'd be into a, you know, probably over an hour. So we'll just do each pattern like, and then I'll do ya. Okay, so now we need a gold bead. Whoop. Some of these beads are tiny to hold on to. And that gold one doesn't want to go through the gold very good. It's like their gold is... The string doesn't want to go through the other end for some reason. This is probably where, you know, it would be nice if they did give you a needle when you have issues like that. I don't have a needle right down by me. The, I felt it pop through. Okay, so we got the gold. And now it wants a black crystal. A gray crystal. The gray crystal. They're pretty. And then another black crystal. And after the black crystal, you have these little daisy spacer. Daisy spacer. And then you have the small bead, the six millimeter. Ooh, and that's going to be it. Oh, it went through. Thought that'd be a tight hole. But it went through. Getting a little tangles here. Let's get this over here. Okay, then we're going to repeat. We're going to do the daisy spacer bead. And then we have the black crystal again. And the clear crystal. I find the little opening. Okay. Black. And the gray. Okay, we did the black crystal, the gray. I'm going to do the black crystal again. And then... Okay, that's black. And then we get another one of the gold balls. That's, those ones are tricky. That string just doesn't want to pop through the other end. And we'll end with an eight millimeter bead. And that'll be the pattern. Then you'll repeat that as many times as you need to repeat it. So I'll show you that now. So that would be, whoops, the pattern then. Okay. So that's two of them. You can see the difference there. And then that was this one here. And then now we're going to do this one, which is similar. And it tells you string the following beads, the eight millimeter, the round, the gray, the crystal, the black crystal, the daisy spacer. So it's pretty similar to the other one. Just the crystals are in a little different pattern. It doesn't use the gold beads on this one. So this one doesn't use the gold beads. So another length of string here. If, if I, after I get a sample of all five of them, if we have time, we can finish one up. Okay, so I'm going to go. So I'll do from here. To here is the pattern. Okay, so we want uh, the eight millimeter snowflake bead, and then it's the gray crystal, and then it is a black crystal. And then it is a daisy spacer. And then we're going to go with the six mil. And then we go with a daisy spacer again. A black crystal. Black crystal and then the clear crystal. 
trying to see where the hole is is and then we end with the eight mil bead okay so let's put these together and this is our this is the pattern on this one all that sparkle okay so that's three of them let's do the fourth one so let's cut off another length if i remember right which i can't remember right because this was a long time since i made the other one I might have had a few extra beads but i can't remember obviously you have extra a little extra string and if you measured each one out yourself and everything you wouldn't need to use as much because i believe i had extra because my wrists are a little bit smaller than okay so the pattern on this one looks like a metal round a six mil snowflake a round metal and then three black crystals so we'll start with it wants me to start with the metal round yeah okay so so here it's gonna be the metal round and i'm trying to see okay metal snowflake metal three crystals metal and then the bead again okay so we start with the not my favorite bead here because it's the hardest to thread it just is stubborn coming out the other end Okay, so I'm going to do that. Six mil bead. Six mil. Another metal bead. Okay. Okay. Three black crystals. One. These are, like I said, I've never had a kit that I didn't like yet. There was coasters. There was, um, oh, sometimes if in my hauls, I have that. It's upstairs now. I use that blue wooden tray to put my hauls in. That was Annie's kit. That was before I started YouTube again, too. Okay, three of them. And then we have the gold bead again. So there's so many different things. There's even some macrame I know. I don't know if I, I didn't get any macrame yet, I don't think. I don't remember anyways that I got one. And the last one would be another gold bead, and that would be the end of that pattern. Come on, go through there. There you go. All right. I'm going to pick it up. And that's the pattern for that one. Okay, so that's four. Get those all in here. And then the cord, and I know there's more than 16 inches here. Okay. So for my little wrist, I definitely could, definitely that's, you know, got more than enough even for one more if there's extra beads. Okay, flip over to last one, it's back here. And then you got this one. So this one is a gold bead, three black crystals, gold bead, three black crystals. All the way around. Pretty simple. So we'll do a, a little bit of that. If I can get a hold of our little well, string here again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't. These beads are so tiny. Okay, it's almost like you need, Woo. I'm going to get the better of me here. Come on. Gold beads are not my favorite here. Black crystals. This is where one of those like little beading things would work nice. But that doesn't come with the kit, so we can't cheat. And three. And we'll put on a gold bead. 
that'll be that pattern. Come on. There we go. So that's the pattern. You just keep doing that all the way around. All right, so let's finish up this one. This one we have done the farthest. So let's finish up doing this one. Okay, get it to my size. So we got to need a daisy spacer next. And then the six, no, the six mil, six mil or eight mil. What were those again? Eight mil. The big ones are eight. So, you know, give this, if you're, you know, like crafting, try, I can't remember, I, like I said, I got mine through um, HSN is where I, I got started the club. I don't think they offer it through HSN any, anymore, but it, it does keep going because I've been doing it for about a year now and they still have more kits coming. So, um, and it's around uh, 20, between 20 and $25, I think it was. Not too expensive. I can't remember the price, but for all the different things that you get, I mean, this is a this is a really nice bracelet set too, and you can wear all five of them together or separate. Okay, let's do a quick measure here. Like I said, I like mine tighter. We'll put just a little, couple more beads on, and then we'll end with. We might want a spacer on both ends, actually. So spacer. Another bead. And a spacer. Let's see if that will be good. Put my little tiny little wrist through there. It's the only thing that's tiny on me. Okay. There you go. All right. So now... To do, let me move this other way so we can kind of see. To do a surgeon's knot, I'm trying to figure out how we're going to see this, this clear thread. To go one in each hand, and we're going to do just a basic, um, like you're tying your shoe there. Just a basic, like that, okay? All right, so we have that. Now we're going to make another loop. Okay, we're going to bring that tail this way. We're going to bring this tail through two times so bring it through the hole two times one this is hard to do up in the air seriously hard to do up in the air okay one through oh my gosh one and one more time through so you can see what it kind of got. Looks like I tangled it up, but you just kind of bring one tail through two t through that hole two times. There's a YouTube video, really helpful. And then you're just gonna pull it tight. Just keep pulling. Put my pull my bead down a little bit. Keep pulling till it's tight together. Like that okay. Then you'll cut, they give you glue. I don't use the glue. They give you glue to put on the knot. I don't use it. You can use it if you want. It seems to stay really good for me. After I just keep pulling it really, really tight, then just cut your ends off. You can put it on. I'm not gonna put it on now because then I can't put the bracelet on. Show you guys our bracelet. And there is the finished bracelet. So there's four more to make. Four more patterns we'll make later on, but it's, we're at 25 minutes, so that's all I'm going to do for you guys for this. I just wanted to show you their their kit. Again, here's all five of them done. And very easy step-by-step -step directions. Tells you everything you get in. Shows you how to do the... You look look on YouTube. You know, if you don't... it You won't... If you've never done a Surgeon's Knot before and stuff, look, do a YouTube video or... um. Search YouTube so you can actually see it. It's easier to understand if you can see it done. Okay. And then use all your bracelets. There's one, two, three, four, and then this one. And then here's a better picture of all of them. Get the glare off. So 
I do I do like doing these kits. I hope you guys maybe try to give it a try if you're someone who needs something to do. You know, I'm retired, so this gives me something to do. I look forward to getting these kits every month. And they're pretty easy. And like I said, this is the other set that they gave about a year ago. I really like this set. I like the, the colors of this set. And you may still, if you just sign up now, you may you may get this set. But I think I think the, all the kits are the same. They just, you know, I'm just further along in the series than the new signer people that sign up now. So, so it's fun. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry, I didn't do all of them, but we're at 25 minutes, and I'm sure you don't want to see me do that all night. And if you enjoyed seeing these Annie Annie's Kick of the Month clubs. Just give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.